Jesus was invited by a high-ranking Pharisee to his home for the Sabbath meal, but it soon became obvious that it was something of a setup. You find it in Luke chapter 14. There was a man present who suffered from dropsy, and we have no reason to believe that he was part of this plan of the Pharisees. The Pharisees were watching Jesus closely. Jesus was known for his great works of healing, and they thought to trap him into healing on the Sabbath day, and in their eyes, breaking the Sabbath, a terrible transgression in Jewish thinking. Well, the story is briefly told. There is an example of the brilliant logic of Jesus when he asks them this question. Which of you shall have an animal fall into a well on the Sabbath day and not immediately rescue it? And the text says they held their peace. (laughs) In other words, they would all find some legal way that would enable them to rescue their animal if it fell into a well on the Sabbath day. Jesus then proceeded to heal the man of dropsy and to let him go. Now, what is the touch of Jesus that's so precious in this story? Some might identify his wit and wisdom, others his courage to stand against the establishment, others his compassion for a sick man, and all these are worthy of our admiration. But I want to look at something not quite so obvious. Jesus healed the sufferer, and who knows the extent of his suffering throughout the years that he had been in that condition. Only Jesus, Jesus knew his suffering. Therefore, immediately after healing him, Jesus let him go. He sent the man, now healed and rejoicing, on his way. This Sabbath that is healing was to be a special Sabbath, and Jesus would permit nothing to mar it for him. Only when the man was gone did Jesus confront the Pharisees with his invective. He actually gave them a lengthy lecture on the dangers of pride, and thinking that you are above others and entitled to the best seats, the privileged places of honour. But the healed man, he was out in the sunlight, and he was enjoying his long-lost freedom to walk and run and jump. We imagine he went walking and leaping and praising God. And all the while, his saviour, his healer, was duelling on his behalf in the unwelcome home the Pharisees. That's love.